Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. So, uh, last time we stopped halfway of uh, what? Sing Chao's story, eh? Which uh, <laughs> characters currently involved? I have to complete snapshot. So uh, I'll finish this uh, side side quest first, eh? Oh, Granny Shen is the. <laughs> I was wondering who was the customer. All right. One out of two. Oh, okay. I get it now. Uh, it, it's that person upstairs. Damn it. I passed him a few times. There we go. I <laughs> said it. Ah, uh, Sue was the one. Oh, oh, oh I got confused. Alright. There we go, finally. Now we got a camera. Alright, now. Um, back to the quest again. Back to <laughs> the story quest, I mean. Alright, Sue. We meet again. Why are you talking about Sincho? A letter? Oh, I see. This again. Again. No, oh, don't mind me. I was just speculating. Let me give this a read. Can he actually read this thing? Is it even written in the common tongue? <laughs> mm, yes, the script is inimitable by the uninitiated. Honored guests, you must both be wary from your long journey. Please allow the Feiyun Commerce Guild to be your host for tonight. You're not here to stay. Please rest assured that the matter written about has been duly received. We just need some time to prepare. Please take a seat here in Leo Lee Pavilion, where you may enjoy some light refreshments while taking in the ocean view. Consider it a small token of our esteem. Okay. Yay! Tasty snacks! <laughs> They're giving us the VIP treatment! Of course. We treat visitors with the utmost respect here at the Feiyun oh. Commerce Guild. <laughs> when honored guests grace us with their presence, far be it from us to shirk our duty to them. Please. This way. Oh, and Paimon okay. thought we'd get kicked out or turned away at the door. Paimon didn't think Guhuaki had so much clout. <laughs> Guhuaki. Hmm? Thank you for your patience. With the amount of wealth and power Gentry Mount Sai has, it will take more than a slap on the wrist to get through to him. For him to correct the error of his ways. He must feel for himself the same suffering he has inflicted on Chang the Ninth. Since Gentry Mount Sai's business has to do with Core Lapis, we simply need to buy up all the stock there is in Liu. Really? That will put him in a rather sticky situation. Deprived of the necessary raw materials, even the best craftsperson in Tevat would be unable to make their product. Great idea! That'll be sure to mess things up between him and the Fatui. But Liu is huge! Mm -hmm. Is it really possible to buy up every last bit of core lapis in the harbor? With the time scale we are on, it is indeed a challenge. Hence, as stated in the letter, we must ask for your further cooperation in the matter. First, there are a number of vendors in the city you will need to buy from. I've marked their respective need locations on your from? map. There is also some unsold core lapis at the chasm. You will need to purchase that too. Finally, there is Chang the Ninth's batch. Alrighty, so three sellers in the city, another one at the chasm, and then Ching the Ninth. Roger that! Of course, we are not expecting you to cover the cost. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> wow, so many Mora! With cash like this, Paimon could rent out Leoli Pavilion and <laughs> eat there for a whole month! Feiyun Commerce Guild is certainly generous with his resources. <laughs> well, this is not the first time we've had to do something like this. It's just par for the course and now. And filthy rich here. Yeah. All you need to do is strike a deal. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will handle the transportation and other trifling matters. Once you have purchased all the core lapis, please proceed to the Feiyun Commerce Guild's warehouse, where you can see the rest of the plan unfold. Okay. Really? We have buying... Hand it to Guhua Geek. This is some seriously solid work for a guy A huge bag of mora. <laughs> in the order the guy said. First the sellers in the city, then the chasm, and then last but not least, Chang the Ninth. Alright, what? 
Let me just take a look at that. A heavy bag full of mora provided by the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Enough to purchase every core lapis available in Liyue. Really? Okay. Oh, right. I saw. Hi. Any I went through here. Yeah. I will take all your core lapis. Wow. You want all my core lapis? Uh, I've already agreed to several orders. Well, that said, none are in writing. The buyers are being incredibly indecisive. Then let the Feiyun Commerce Guild take it off your hands. What? Oh, it's for the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Hmm, seems business trends are about to change in Liyue. Wow. Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. And just talking to myself. Come, let us sign a contract. Don't worry about my prior client. He hadn't made any down payments or anything. Quite common in the industry. Thank you for your patronage. We hope the Feiyun Commerce Guild will continue to do business with us. Oh, we have a lot of power. <laughs> okay, that's one. Good day, my friend. My apologies, but I'm out of stock at the moment. Please try again next time. Really? Are you out of call lapis? Oh, I thought you were here to purchase Snezhnaya products. Nah. No, that I still have. Although I ship it all to factories in Snezhnaya. I don't do retail. Too much hassle, not enough return. Sorry. Uh, we'll take it all still count as retail? Or should I save the Feiyun Commerce Guild? What? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Give me a second to think. Um, <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll do it. Just need you to yeah. sign for it. Feiyun Commerce Guild is powerful. Clearly right? no shortage of cash flow in the air. Wow, okay. And the third one is downstairs. Your voice down. So, <laughs> all of it. Though my business may not seem so big, I should warn you that I can get what you need, both legitimately and not so legitimately. Okay. <laughs> Best it's you give me an here. actual number. All of it would be far more than you actually want. It's for the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Feiyun Commerce Guild only ever does legal business. Same Fe thing. Feiyun Commerce Guild? <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? If it's for the Feiyun Commerce Guild, wow, then they really sign have the power, on the man. dotted line <laughs> and I'll start getting things in order right away. Okay, go to the chest room and buy core lapis. All the way there? Okay, good thing I opened this area. <laughs> She's on the strong. Hello there. Are you in charge of the core lapis here? Aha, finally. I thought you might come. I hear the Feiyun Commerce Guild has been buying up all the core lapis stock in Liyue Harbor. Mm -hmm. As it happens, I do have a batch of core lapis that hasn't been shipped yet. It's all yours, if you name the right price. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. How much does it cost exactly? The original buyer's price was already quite high, so... Hmm. The best I can do is... Seven, seven million mora. <laughs> Are you serious? We spent less than a hundred thousand mora on the rest of Liyue's stock put together! Uh, Paimon said hundred thousand, but here it says two million. Uh-huh. I'm afraid it has to go to the highest bidder. Highest bidder. I'm breaching an existing agreement by selling to you, so... It has to be worth my while. That's over four times what it should be. It's poor form to just raise the price without good grounds. Uh, look, you have your problems to deal with and I have mine. <laughs> you can take it or leave it. So if you're not buying, please leave me alone. Alright, alright. We'll pay, even if it is a ridiculous price. When we get back, we'll just have to tell the guild that we'll sell to this gentleman at four times the normal price in the future. Wait, <laughs> surely there's no need for that. Yeah, just say about the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Please, don't do this. It's not even your money. Why be so frugal with it? It might be the guild's money, but we'll have a tough time explaining to our boss why we spent so much in one go. <laughs> if he asks, all we can do is mention your name yep. and say you gouged us over the price. I... I understand. I'm sorry, please. Uh, <laughs> I don't want any trouble with the guild. Okay. There's just one other thing, though. There's been an issue with the delivery of this batch. 
several carts were ambushed by hilly churls. I don't know where exactly, but if I can't retrieve the goods, then I can't sell them to you either. Oh, right. So maybe you could go and look for the carts? <laughs> there should be five of them in total. If you can find them all and tell me where they are, I'll sign the contract right away. Okay, that's the deal then. Oh, thank you very much. This is a lot to ask, I know. That's that then. Well, no time to lose. Come on. I need to press it too much. <laughs> so much for the strong. Let time on C. Yep, that's it. Okay, we've got one. Okay. Oh yeah! We found it! Check out all that core lapis! Make a note of the location. We'll send the Feiyun Commerce Guild to collect it later. Alright. The other two are over there and I see a snapshot that I can take. Okay. Another one down! Alright, and one more is or oh, behind here. Here we go, quick! Make Done. That guy said there were five cards in total, so that should be all of them. Let's get back. <sighs> this has all been quite exhausting for poor little Paimon. He definitely owes Paimon some snacks. Okay. make this official I also hope uh, you could put in a good word with your boss for me all right then done and dusted yeah nice work back there we make a great team don't we now for the final stop on our core lapis crawl to Chang the ninth place oh we have to meet Chang again purchase the Chang the ninth or Just who I was hoping to see. I was just thinking to myself, Gentry Mount Size Thugs have been mysteriously absent for a while now. Okay. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Oh, don't worry. You won't be hearing from them again. Oh? What? What happened? Not only that, we like to purchase your core lapis. Huh? Oh, oh, I see. Now you're you're in this trade too. So you're trying to beat him to the post, eh? <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving, that's for sure. But I don't care who you are. A discount of 70% is simply impossible. The maximum I can do is 40% off, and even then I'm I'm only breaking even. No need. We'll take it at the market rate. <laughs> you mean you're not trying to force the price down? What, what, what's going on? If I died and gone to heaven? Just I can't see. believe it. I will make a profit on this batch after all. But gentry mount sized thugs could still come back after I've sold it. Just a little. If Paimon told you they're not gonna bother you again, then you'd better believe they're not gonna bother you again. <laughs> You're safe selling to us. Huh. Okay then. My situation can hardly get worse from here in any case. But tell me, what on earth do you plan to do with so much core lapis? Actually, it's for a commission. Can't go into too much detail. Send someone to collect the goods later. Things are never... Ah, oh yeah, we just say that. Things are never quite as bad as they seem. Thank you. <laughs> thank you a million times over. I really don't know what to don't say. Don't thank us yet. Wait till we finish. Good people always get what's coming to them in the end. And so will the nasty people. Anyway, let's get going, because apparently we have a show to watch at the Feiyun Palmer's Guild's warehouse. You have a show to watch? Oh yeah, they said, watch the plan unfold. So, let's see. How will this turn out? Oh, it's, uh, Xingqiu. Welcome. The final act in this drama would not be complete without you two here as audience. Okay. You better believe it! We're the ones who've been doing all the work! What exactly have you been doing all this time? Uh, well, naturally, 
I used the time to immerse myself completely <laughs> in the legend of the shattered Halbert. I managed to finish the book off, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Divine Halbert, an ominous sword. Mir and Wei Young. The way the story develops across the first five volumes. Nothing short of exemplary. But the sixth volume? Ah, oh, words fail me. How blessed we are to have such an author grace our world with such works. And this is related <laughs> to Gentry Meltzai, how? It's not. But when something surpasses expectations to such a degree, one must show one's appreciation. You saw how everything would play out. And it is thanks to your help that everything will play out just as I had foreseen. Okay. Why does Paimon have to be the only one who doesn't get what's going on? No fair! Uh, so go on then, tell me, what are we doing here? And what's this big dramatic showdown thing that's supposed to happen? Think about it. Gentry mounts I go searching for core lapis all over mm -hmm. Liyue Harbor. And all the city doesn't been find over. a single piece. He panics. Without the goods, he can't fulfill his contract. And if he can't fulfill his contract, he can't stay in good standing with the Fatui. Mm -hmm. He hears a rumor that the Feiyun Commerce Guild is the culprit. Panic turns to disbelief. Jinshi Maotsai is a hugely powerful figure in the business world. Never has anyone dared to target him like this. So regardless of whether it is revenge or a swift resolution that he seeks, he is certain to... So it was you! Oh, speaking you of Jinshi You were the one sticking your necks out for Chang the Ninth! Speak of the devil. I went everywhere trying to find someone selling core lapis before I realized the Feiyun Commerce Guild had been on an acquisition spree. Core lapis is hardly a rare mineral, and yet suddenly the stocks dry up, just like that. Explain yourselves. What is the meaning of this persecution? We are not persecuting you, but protecting another, one to whom I am indebted. Upon witnessing an injustice, it is a perfectly normal response to rush to the aid of he who has been wronged. Was it not one of your own men who said, this isn't over? <laughs> <clears throat> you clearly don't know what's good for you. I won't beat around the bush. Yes, we're gonna battle because... Master, if you please, seize their Corlapis. Oh boy. Alright. And do we use Sincho? Yes. Let's Time go. To act. You know what? I can actually just... Alright, fend off the agent, where? Okay, there he is. Level 46? Okay, hold up. This shouldn't be a problem. I am level 45. At this. Oh, speed. <laughs> Got him. Why are you up there? Come on, Sincho. Oh, he's dead already. <laughs> Impressive. You are no commoners. To continue this fight would be to incur greater losses than I can accept. Their strength is almost spent. Finish them off! The core lapis is almost within our grasp. Might I remind you that the Fatui's relationship with you extends to business matters only? I did <laughs> not lend you my men to have them stir up trouble at your beck and call. W what are you saying? Master, everything I did, I did with only one thing in mind. To complete the order! Then figure it out by yourself. D don't go. Bruh. Wait. Master, wait. My lord, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? 
Thanks to this valiant young man, I am unscathed. My lord? My lord, yeah, I did not see that coming too, my lord. You? You are the heir of the Feyun Commerce Guild? Oh, that makes sense. Indeed, my liege. I am Xing Cho, disciple of the Guhua clan and second son of the Feyun Commerce Guild manager, and I make no secret of it. Drats! I've been played like a fiddle. No wonder he has the Coercion and intimidation are hardly the attributes of a respectable businessman. The problems that your business practices have created, I have sought to resolve through mine. I shudder to think what the Fatui will do with you if you fail to provide their core lapis. You meddling swine! <laughs> well, go on. Tell me, what will you sell it for? Since you asked Chang the Ninth for a discount of 70%, let's fight fire with fire, shall we? Three times the market rate sounds fair, no? How dare you subject me to such viciousness? This is a malicious and calculated attempt to run me into the ground. Deep breaths now. This is a simple decision. Will you buy or not? I... I, I <clears throat> fine. Have it your way. I'll find the money somehow. Happy now. On behalf of the Feiyun <laughs> Commerce Guild, I thank you for your business, and hope you will continue to do business with us in future. You? Funny-speaking, book-reading, guhua-geeking, Xingqiu, are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? So that massive stash of Mora you let us burn through in a day, that was from your private vault? <laughs> so it was his money. It was but a paltry sum. I got to make a very sound investment while putting Gentry Maltzai in his place. A classic two birds, one stone situation. Appearances really can be deceiving. You're too kind. <laughs> you have valor in your heart, and that is worthy of admiration. Yikes! Paimon's been calling you Guhua Geek this whole time! <laughs> Paimon read in one of these martial artist novels that when rich heirs like you get angry at someone, you have their arms and legs chopped off! <sighs> Paimon's toast! And sorry! Very sorry! Please don't hurt Paimon! I don't even know that he was... Calm down. <laughs> Since you can fly, you hardly need your legs anyway. <laughs> He's obviously joking. Jokes aside, I have the two of you to thank for this successful resolution. Really, you were a huge help. Meanwhile, Legend of the Shattered Halberd was positively riveting. Much obliged if you could return it to Chang the Ninth for me. Making us run another errand? Well, I don't mind. Huh? I did nothing, and <laughs> hence deserve none of his gratitude. The two of you, meanwhile, though strangers to the circumstances, Stepped in and saved the day. To have made such valiant and chivalrous friends is more than enough for me, my liege. <laughs> my lord, forgive the intrusion. It's about your father. Hmm? Please inform my father thusly. I have averted a disaster and earned a sizable sum of money in the process. Might this meritorious act compensate for my prior transgressions and earn me a few more days of freedom, perchance? Legend of the Shattered Halberd speaks of a domain that I should very much like to investigate. For all your clever long words, <laughs> the fact is you're just the lazy bones who doesn't want to work. <laughs> what if I told you that a reward awaits you at Cheng the Ninth's palace, and not just his gratitude? A reward? <laughs> mm. Well, that sweetens the deal somewhat. Uh, it seems whatever I say, there's no persuading you. Why to didn't say. you tell us Sincho was the Feiyun heir? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize you weren't aware. Thank you in advance okay. for returning the book for me. I will take my leave now. May we meet again, fellow merchants. Well. Return to the legend. Oh yeah, we need to return it back to... Okay. Finally, you're back. This morning, the pawnbroker showed up and gave me back my entire Ooh. collection. I'm positive that you must have been behind this once again. Thank you. Thank you from the <laughs> bottom of my heart. Happy to help. Please don't Even though it wasn't us. <laughs> you have no idea how much this means to me. 
The Chang family was a prestigious household in Liyue back in the day. Unfortunately, after I took over the family's affairs as heir, a series of business setbacks devoured our fortune. Since then, I've saved for years, hoping to restore the house to its former glory. In the end, everything was riding on this Corlapis deal. Were it not for you, this barren wasteland in the mountains would have become my final resting place. Wow, that's the second heir we've met in this town. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Uh, yeah, Sincho. Uh, nothing? Oh, <laughs> here's your book back. Wonderful. Legend of the Shattered Halberd. I was beginning to think that Gufwa rascal had swindled me. Yeah, he's uh, another A. <laughs> Do people really look down on the Gufwa clan so much? Hmm. Actually, the art is centuries old and was once held in high esteem. But now it has faded beyond recognition. To instigate a revival, you need to eject some fresh blood, but it's hard to attract budding young talent to a dying art. And so it becomes a vicious cycle. In any case, Guhua kids these days. Take that young rascal Xingqiu, for instance. <laughs> for all his talk about repaying kindness with kindness and whatnot, what has he done to show for it? You're the ones who've displayed a genuine sense of responsibility. Maybe a Guhua renaissance is just around the corner. He's better than you give him credit for. Ah, uh, what does it matter? Anyway, you wanted the Liyue volume yes. of the Tibet Travel Guide, didn't you? I'll fetch it for you. It's yours to keep. Okay. In addition, here is but a small token of appreciation <laughs> well, for your was worth it after all. Yep. My ore is sold, and my treasured books have returned. I can't believe it. Uh, what? Strange bookmark. What was that? Paimon saw something fall out. Oh. Nothing, nothing. Hmm? That little rascal uh, surely isn't. Okay, I think he knows already. Okay, so that is done. Uh, bookworm swordsman. <laughs> and we got the Tevet travel guide. Okay, so... We finished that story quest, uh, Sin Chao's story, I guess. Um, I guess it's time to continue the Archon quests again because uh, we were sidetracked. Eh? We can't continue the Archon quest because of that story quest. So yeah, next video I'll continue the Archon quest. We actually, I forgot what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to talk to the locals. I talked to one of them. And so yeah, that will be in the next video. So. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time.